Well, if you've ever asked yourself the question, what if Marvel did dot, 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 and you went like this? <laughs> did they go like you, that? You're going to... How y'all doing? If you don't already know, I'm Kathy. I'm Tom. And we're the Marvelous Donahues. Marvel Heads. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. That's my new that's my new line. Marvel Heads, welcome. <laughs> that welcome sounds kind of ominous, doesn't it? Welcome. Uh no, I'll stick with the other one. <laughs> I'll keep my day job. <laughs> yeah, and this is our side hustle. That's right. And if you guys are new to our channel, we're reviewing the Disney Plus TV series that uh, includes Loki, which we just did, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Coming up. WandaVision. Coming up too. As well, I should say. As well. And who am I missing, Tom? What if? What if? We're going to be reviewing What If Today. Have you ever asked yourself the question, what if Marvel did dot, dot, dot? Well, guess what? We're going to review that tonight. Episode one. Episode one. Let's get started. <laughs> the thing. Sorry if you've seen my finger number one of What If. <laughs> what if, you guys? I... We'll let Tom start with this one. Well, you know, so there are nine episodes in the series, so we're going to cover all the episodes now. It's not going to be as long as our regular, regular hour show interviews or no. re uh, reviews because... <laughs> I don't know if we do is, a hour. Is, is, no, no, no. The, the shows are now. Oh, okay. All right. 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. But we're, we're going to do, we're gonna do a, a little brief review uh -huh. of the show because they're half hour each and they're mm -hmm. nine episodes. So tonight... We're going to talk about episode one, and I think episode two airs tomorrow. Right, So right. we'll cover that in a few days. But number one was very interesting. I, I'm going to start off oh, with what I wait, like. wait. We have to say which, which what if. It's this one, this series is what if, but this review is about Captain Carter. That's right. Yeah. So, okay, we'll start from that. Yeah. What if <laughs> dot, dot, dot. So I was going to just say what if Captain Carter... Our Agent Carter switched places with Captain America. Mm. So that that's kind of the premise of the whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go over what I liked and what I thought lacked a little bit. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll start with what I liked. I really liked um, the animation. Mm -hmm. I thought the animation was really clear. I thought it was crisp. Uh, I thought it was Marvel-esque, which is great. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. So I just, I really thought it was interesting. I thought the kind of the montage as it went through the beginning mm -hmm. was interesting because I thought, I might be hallucinating, but I thought I saw a beardless Thor mm. running around. A and beardless I, I'm Thor. like, beardless Thor. I, I'm going to have to watch that again. I, I, I didn't, I wasn't. I don't know if I see I that. Wasn't, I didn't I see that. I wasn't, I wasn't used, I wasn't used to seeing a beardless Thor. But anyway, uh, but anyway, I thought it was interesting. All the rest of the characters I kind of felt were, as I expected, mm -hmm. I don't know. Did you? What did you think about about the animation, or what did you? Oh think? my gosh! Listen, for me, I thought the animation was wonderful. I took a film class in college, my sophomore year in college, and I was like, "Hey, I know that look. That's the film noir." Noir. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like. A 40s style of smoky, shadowy type of, uh, yeah, well, you know, but they took that film noir from cinema yeah. and put it in the animation. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you thought, maybe you guys were thinking that, gosh, this is kind of dark or why, why are we having so many shadows? Yeah. I think that was a nod to the era of film noir. Right. So. I was, as soon as I saw the animation, yeah. I was all for it. Yeah. You know, I thought it was, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. And, and too. yeah, I that's what too. I thought. That's, that's what I thought. So that's my, my I, play on the animation. I can't top noir. So if you guys are looking for me to say something like really super catchy, like more than noir. Uh, hey, there's nothing else that, to that say. That won't today. There is nothing else to say but noir. But maybe I can't top it. I just oh, thought okay. about this. What? Multiverse. Oh, okay. So well. what I thought is, and I like the way Marvel is trying to unfold mm -hmm. or unpack the idea of the multiverse. I mean, we've seen it in a lot of other different 
genres. We've seen it. I was thinking about this uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. the, about if you all watched The Flash, if you watched oh, anything right. on CW, if yes. you watched that where they were doing Earth One, Earth Two, mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. kind of cool. So, and then this one, it was great because you know they're trying to develop multiple storylines and mm -hmm. multiple possibilities right and so i really really like that so mm -hmm. i don't know uh, I, we liked it in loki we loved it in loki yes and and, yeah. and we, if you've all watched the rest of our series or some mm -hmm. of the other videos we've had uh we talk about that uh, a little bit what did you what do you how's your multiversing what do you, what do you think about, <laughs> about multiversing are you versed in multi well i thought the multiverse angle um you know i i felt like this stemmed from our last and final review of Loki, mm -hmm. where, you know, the timekeeper's dead, Sylvie's killed him, and everything is going crazy. That's a spoiler alert. Yeah, so if you've sorry. Not watched, if, beep, beep, yeah. Beep, 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 <laughs> if you've not watched the last episode right, of Loki right. on Disney+, Plus, uh, please delete from your mind <laughs> everything in the last a minute and a half. If, hey, not, if you if you want to stop the film and go watch, I'm it, come sorry. Back. I'm sorry. Loki's been out on whatever oh, no. for a little while, no. so I'm sorry. Don't mean to spoil it, but that's what I was thinking. See, that I, this... I love you guys. I'm, I'm still trying to do those finger hearts. If you watched some of my last episodes, you know I'm I'm challenged with finger hearts. <laughs> Well, I'm not trying to spoil it for you, but this is the concept right. that I think what if um, sprang from, right. you know? Right. I agree with that. And um, what else I'd like to say as far as that is concerned is that I felt like it could have been a little more creative mm -hmm. as far mm -hmm. as the plot line of right. Captain Carter. Right. Right. You know, I I felt like that I wanted to know more about her. Right. I felt like that it wasn't enough. You know how you have your origin story? Right. And I know the people that have um, watched her maybe in when she was Agent Carter, they may know her story. But I wish that they had just given me a little more snippet of her her story. What do you, what do you think about how they did that that script in the multiverse with her story? Tom? I think I think that um, I wanted to see more of of Agent Carter, mm -hmm. and I think less of like Steve Rogers. <gasps> no, I know sacrilege. <laughs> well, and what I mean by that is I think and and this is the way I think Marvel has to be very careful about. Mm -hmm doing so much work because mm -hmm. there's a lot of Marvel stuff out there now and it's, it's just going to keep going and going. And with the multiverse, what I'm concerned about is them trying to mix so many stories together where it could, we could have story overload. Mm -hmm. But with the, but the other thing, on the other side of that, what I'm worried about is uh, sacrificing like originality oh, for yeah. speed. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, yeah. what I felt is they took Captain America... The first Avenger, mm. and they basically everywhere it said Steve Rogers did this or Steve Rogers did that. I think they just took their magic eraser mm. and they just wrote in Agent Carter. Wow, or Captain Carter. Or Captain Carter. Mm -hmm. And see, I was thinking, okay, she can be called Captain England, Captain mm. Britain. Yeah, which is well, called see, Cap I... Captain Carter. But yeah. but again, that that's kind of where I was at. Mm -hmm. I think that I agree with with Kathy. I think that it should have been. Uh, it should have been more of an original story. Yeah. I felt like the storyline should have been more of her story. Right. Because when I saw the, um, you know, just them rescuing uh, the Winter Soldier and all those guys, she was kind of rescuing them for him. So, for Steve. Right. And right. I, I liked the romance part and, and it was sweet and stuff, but I just felt like it was his story still yeah, yeah. and not her story. Yeah, so, you know, Cap A is Cap A. I mean, you can't be like, Cap. you can't be kind of Captain America. And that's what I saw with Steve. I think they were trying to keep mm -hmm. the character, right. Steve Rogers, around. Right. And even, I mean, we can go into this all night, but mm -hmm. what we'll say is, you know, with the Iron Man analogy, they wanted to give him something to right. do. Right, yeah. But... As you all know, that the Iron Man module, if you want to call that the weapon, was actually uh, Tony Stark's idea. It I know. Was, it, I, wasn't, it wasn't the dad's yeah, idea. Yeah, but that's where I differ. That's where he and I differ because I know in, when you have a multiverse, mm -hmm. um, 
that could be in that invention could pop mm -hmm. out anywhere that's true. from anybody. That's true. You know, so that's that true. I will, opens everything. Yeah, right. yeah. I give them poetic license for that. Right. You know, right. And so, so what I thought, and I guess mm -hmm. my last my last comment was more like. I felt like they took, in this particular scenario, I think they took the multiverse mm -hmm. and they kind of made it, they kind of just made it a simple parallel universe. Like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. okay, here's Captain America, Steve Rogers, and then they just flipped it like a parallel universe mm -hmm. and they had a weak Steve Rogers and a really strong Captain Carter, mm -hmm. you know, but whereas the original was, of course, the very strong Steve Rogers and the very, you know, capable... She was strong in her own way. She wasn't physically, brutishly strength mm -hmm. strong, but, you know, Agent Carter. So I think that that's what I'm, I'm watching mm -hmm. to see. Uh, and I know episode two is coming up, right. uh, like I said, in tomorrow, I think. Right. Uh, right. So we're, we're waiting for that. But uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of what I thought. Right. I, I agree with you to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. I think she still kept her same Agent Carter when she became Captain Carter, mm -hmm. that same feisty and gutsiness. Mm -hmm. And that's what I enjoyed about that character. Right. You know, that they did flip it on its head just enough to make it different enough. Mm -hmm. But for me, they didn't flip it enough right. to make it Captain Carter, her story. I wanted to see her story. Yeah, yeah. And and more encompassed around her, which it did, but just not enough detail for right. me. Right. But if I had to rate it, you know, I'm, we're going to keep watching. Right. Uh, we're going to keep watching. Should we, should we dare rate it? You want to rate it out of uh, I don't know if I want to rate it. Right. I just said, you know, I'll give it you a thumbs we'll up. Do, you, know we'll do? <laughs> you know what we'll do? We'll give it a thumbs up you know what we'll do we'll rate the series yes at the end of nine yes maybe we'll rate the whole series and say okay out of ten we'll give it yeah yes. because it could be that the first couple are going to kind of have to get the right the training wheels off right. to kind of get it right. rolling and then we're in a certain mindset with the other one yeah. so we're that's also, all the good yeah, stuff right? that's so. that's also affecting that our, our view on things you exactly. know because we're used to a certain thing exactly. Exactly. but you guys if you have not um, liked and subscribed to us, please do. Like and subscribe, we, Marvel Heads. I know. We want you in our Marvel Head family. Yeah. And we want to shout out to um, all of the people that have subscribed to us already. Yes, we love you guys. We, we thank yeah, you for your thank you for your support. For your support and that you're you're interested in being in our family. Yes, and you know what? We are speaking it into existence. Right. We are looking to get our first. Let's see, our first one hundred. That's right. So please like, subscribe and share That's and right. we will see you next time next time we'll be doing we'll be reviewing episode two of what if and we will see you next time yes bye bye you guys bye guys